Alright everyone, here I am, uh, I'm trying a little search pattern here in the middle of the Gulf of Bengal and or the Indian Ocean and it looks like we have a Flugzeug incoming, waters are calm now so I can use the flat gunner to attack this Flugzeug, that's what I'm going to do, uh, I want this guy up here instead, you can go in there, Engage the target. Increase speed. Where is the Flugzeug? One eight seven. It's right behind us. My watchmen have good eyes. I cannot see the Flugzeug. Oh no, I can. Looks like a biggie. Attack that Flugzeug. Uh, let's see here. No, no, I don't want to. Be, uh, no, no. Here we go. Fire at will. Attack at long range. Let's attack from medium range. Because by the time it gets to us, we might have expended all our ammunition. We don't want that to happen. I'm going to start turning soon. My mouse is very sensitive for some reason. Attack this Flugzeug. Give me that yellow... There we go, the green uh, triangle. Alright, let's, let's start turning. Who's my gunner? Gustav Schad and Kurt Lipke. We have two flat gunners. That helps. Come on. It's coming in. Oh god, that scared me. Get the Flugzeug. Yes. Oh god, it's firing at us. Four engines. And now we've... Oh boy. Please. Please don't hurt us, Mr. Flugzeug. Oh god. Wow! Shit. Oh shit. This might have been a bad idea. Oh! Damage control. Come on, uh, what should we repair? I don't know. We're in bad shape. Oh my god, our diesel engines are unrepairable. Yeah, so... Uh, so, okay, we're stranded. This was a bad idea. I'm going to... Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Das Boot ist beschädigt, Herr Kalon. The flight gunners are now dead. We've got flooding. And he's coming for another run. I think this is the first time I've been properly damaged by an aircraft. And it would normally be the end of my patrol and career. But we've only just made it to the Far East, so it would be sad if this was the way it was going to end. Oh, well, my flight guns, I don't think my flight guns are working. Oh, God! Well, those two missed. We have heavy flooding. Get our men in there. I don't know if having more men helps in any way it's worth a shot but we're not going anywhere our engines are unrepairable we're stranded in the middle of the engine ocean so this will have to be it 
it won't really because I'm I'll restart I'll, I'll reload the save flat guns are they working are they no they're they're dead as are the men who are using them maybe we should send a message to uh Oh, we can't. We have critical water breakdown, Herr Kalloin. I guess our uh, radar, or our um, radio antenna is damaged as well. Oh, okay. We're listening to the stern, and we're about to go under, I think. We have critical water breakdown, Herr Kalloin. Come on, pump that water out. Not that it'll do us any good whatsoever. Maybe we should start in the very back. I don't know. 1 minute 50, 2 minutes. Okay. I'm going to try pumping the water out from the torpedo room first. I don't know what a hull is like because I don't have the hull indicator anymore. <laughs> well, now we're going down. My watch crew are still manning their stations. Just goes to show that airplanes can be dangerous in this game. Maybe not as dangerous as in real life. Are they just going to stay there? Maybe we should find a ballast. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> okay. Well, that's uh, an alternate history, I suppose, of what happened to our U-boat. But as I say, I've been waiting a long time to get across to the Far East, so I will reload the save and maybe not attempt to attack the Fugzoi again. But you know, it's annoying when you um, when you want to get footage to record and exciting stuff. You know, if I I could have just dived, I should have. If I was a real U-boat commander, I would have just dived and gotten out of the way of that Fugzoi. Uh, look, there's the the blackened hull. Um, yeah, so I'll come back once I've reloaded. Okay, quick update for you. I had a, a little snoop around in this general area for a bit, but uh, not find any contact, so I'm going to head for home. I think it's been a long journey. We're getting low on fuel. The date is December the 18th, 1943. It's time to go to Penang and have a look at our new home. On the way, I think I might pass by this little island here. Just see what that's all about. Whoops. Penang. There we go, that should bring us close enough. Yep. So, yes, I'm going to head for home. Oh my god, what's this? That's a chip, isn't it? That's not a plane, that's a ship. Hmm. Weather is pretty good for an attack. It's night time. Well, my plans have just changed. Let's see if we can spot this guy. I don't know which way he's going. If it's just one escort or a convoy or what it is. I guess we'll soon find out. Let's go towards it. Is this a bad idea? Probably. We should be able to see before it spots us. How far away is it now? Getting within visual range. Should be directly in front of us. You've got excellent visibility, 15 kilometers, but it is night time, I guess. That's probably why we can't see it yet. Go a little bit further. 
and it's heading straight forwards. What is it? Contact report. It's directly in front of us, but I can't. Oh, I can. I can just about make it out there. All right, let's dive. Because it might know we're here now because it's using its radar, obviously. Is it alone or what? Just a lone destroyer out in the middle of the Indian Ocean? Seems a bit odd. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Speed things up a bit here. Ah, there it is. I can only hear the one. Maybe it is just a lone escort, escorting nothing. And it's heading straight for us. Um. What should I do here? I've only got rear tubes. I need to turn around. Okay. Let's head this way. 110 degrees to 10. There we go. So that our stern tubes are pointing towards it. Moving fast though, so we might not have time now. No, I don't think we will have time. Silent running. Schleifer. Beide Maschinen kleine Fahrt. 50 und drehen. Oder 0 Grad Backbord. If we had some homing torpedoes, they would do the job. Oh god, it knows we're here. This isn't going very well, this video. Um, I'm going to stay at Proscope Depth and hope that while it turns around we will get a chance to fire a few torpedoes at it. We've got two in the, in the barrel we can use. So if you do a spread shot, we might be able to get it as it passes by. But we need to make sure it's... What's the arming distance? I think it's... it's a, I don't think it'll say, will it? It's like 300, 400 metres from memory. And we're signed onto it as well, so if it's got... ASDIC, it's in a perfect position to use it. Trying to work out if it's going to pass inside our arming distance here. Probably will do. I don't want to use the periscope too much because it'll probably spot it. Yeah, that's going to be a bit too close to fire once it passes past um, passes past us. So I'm not too sure to be honest. I can increase speed, excuse me, but um, that will obviously give us away. So I have to be sure that I'm going to be able to hit it and bring it down, which I'm not. Oh, let's, let's have a quick look. Oh, well, this is tempting. But it's too close. Could fire one, I guess. Hmm. 
You know, it's so close we can hear the engines. It'll have slowed down now, it's um, tracking as we're trying to find us, so... Hmm, tricky situation. Looks like it's just on the 300 mark, it could be good. I think it's worth a try. Yeah, it looks kind of far away. How fast do you think it's going? I think it's going fairly slow right now. I'm going to say four knots. And it's basically... Uh, it's kind of moving a way a bit now. Here we go. Fire! I'll do another one at slightly higher speed. Oh, we can set these to fast as well, can't we? Go on then. These will probably be nowhere near. Oh, what's the shooting at? What the hell is it shooting at? Oh! Death charges! I thought he was firing anti-aircraft guns for, for a moment there. Now it's speeding up. No, torpedoes don't show up on the... Uh, the camera, unfortunately. But I think it's fair to say we've missed by now. See, I can stick some guys in the torpedo room, but I'll have to turn off silent running. It doesn't appear to have Aztec, so it could be good. Oh, don't, oh, don't shout! We're only loading a torpedo. Don't have to shout. Oh, God's sake. Okay, shut up, shut up. Be quiet. I'm pretty sure that won't affect it. Our detection, having him shouting that, but it's just going to be annoying. Might as well stop your engines just to limit the noise. Maybe just go at the minimum. Minimum revs. We've got seven minutes until this thing loads anyway. Yeah, about 50 something revolutions per minute. Let's increase. Time compression. I wonder what this guy is doing out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, it's loaded. Good. Alright, let's have another look. What's the current position? Hydrophone dude. Two, three, four. Is he going away? I'm certainly moving away. Is he giving up that easily? Looks like he has. Okay. Alright, well, that was that then, I suppose. Can't catch up with him. At 
let's uh, do what we were going to do and head home. We used up two more torpedoes, so we've only got one left now anyway. Yeah. Okay, well, that was that, I suppose. And um, just lucky we didn't get detected. We did at first, but obviously he gave up. It looks like he's just having a bit of a patrol around uh, the middle of the, the ocean. All right, I'll come back if anything else happens before we get there. If it doesn't, then when we get there. Okay, so here I am next to this little island coming into Penang. I did send the um, patrol report out to BDU and they sent me a message back saying start return, home base as directed. So I have their blessing to head for home. Um, and this is what we found here. It's just a, a rock with some trees on it, it looks like. Let's have a look. Not even a bird in the sky, although it's night time, so they're probably all roosting. We've got some kind of jungle thing going on. Uh, yeah, nothing very special, no settlements to speak of. Right, uh, that's that, I guess. Just a quick um, update, I suppose, and I'll come back when we reach Penang. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I am feeling good. We have made it to Penang. We died along the way, but let's never mind about that. We are here in Penang, look, Japanese boats, factories and things. Uh, the harbour, yeah, it should be over here. I think there's also a, a gem submarine we spotted. Let's go take a look around. So this is just land over here. Very pretty. Nice grass. And then here's the port itself. With an old derelict ship. Some normal ships. What's this? Gun emplacements. Little men. A town. And some Japanese shipping. And here's our fellow submarine. Or U-boat. They're all watching for no apparent reason. There's a the Kaloin. Yeah, this is it. This is Penang. Let's have a look at all the little ships. It's a sampan! It's a good job effing controller isn't here, otherwise... We'd have to run it down. But yes, we're here in Penang. Let's dock ourselves. Or attempt to dock ourselves. Whoa, 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 not so fast. One thing I've realised is that I'm playing this game in widescreen. I'm shooting on a widescreen monitor and it's definitely widescreen, but when I record it and look at the video, it's not widescreen. I don't understand why that is. If anybody has any idea, please let me know. Maybe I need... But then... Uh, if it shows for me as being widescreen, I don't understand why it's squishing it up when it's recorded, but never mind. We're here now. Let's head on in. Speed things up a little bit. Make sure we're not going to impact in the dock. And we should be good. We're here. No cheering girls. No marching band. Nothing. What an anticlimax. We made it back though. 
This is our new home. I wonder where I'm going to go to patrol next. That's a good question. I'll have to do some research, I think. But Australia seems to be a good bet. It's going to be a long trip out there. Darwin. Thursday Island. New Zealand. Is Pitcairn Island here? Where Whereabouts is that? I don't know. That's probably not marked anywhere on the map. Maybe it's not. I'm not even sure exactly where Pitcairn Island is. I know it's around in, in this area, obviously. But yeah, that's it. Let's uh, exit patrol. Dock at Penang. Great. So that was patrol number eight, roughly. Um, we started on the 30th of October. We finished on the 22nd of December. Long old trip. We sunk four merchant ships. Total of 30,899 tons. We shot down one Flugzeug. And we get 957.61 patrol renown. Great. Good. So all we need to do now is... Let's see what... Now we've got 2,800 renown. A new boat is going to be out of the question. Could... Get a new conning tower with a heavy flak emplacement. I'm not too sure about that. Um, oh, these are free. I'll take these. All kinds of torpedoes. Type 5. Homing torpedo. Um, let's see. No engine upgrades. No battery. We have hydrophone upgrade. Okay, let's go for that. Not too bothered about sonar or radar. Won't bother with that. We can upgrade to bold spy. Do that as well. And we have no extra... Coating. So that's that. We've left with 1,732.11 renowns for U124. And now uh, let's hand out the medals. Well, how do I do that again? Filing cabinet. Whoops. Ah. Uh, oh, I didn't want to do that. Have my, my changes. No, they haven't. Let me just do this again. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. There we go. Now, filing cabinet. Awards! We have one promotion. Who can we give this to? Only one man, and that man is Ferdinand Goldbeck. There you go. Medals. We've got Iron Cross second class. We can give this to anybody. Um, let's see here. Helmsman... You've already got one, as do you. Who was... Let's see, we shot down that Flugzeug, so maybe I should give it to my flat gunner. Gustav Shad. Yeah, you can have that for your gunnery. And we've got Iron Cross First Class. And I can give this to this man, this man. The radio man. Yeah, let's give it to the radio man. No, no, he's already had one. Ferdinand Goldbeck. Hold on. Gustav Schad. I swore I just... I think I'm going mental. Ferdinand Goldbeck. There you go. I, I'm, sw I sh I'm certain that the flat gunner I just gave the... War 2 was called Ferdinand Goldbeck. But I obviously I'm going insane. Um, qualifications. What should we use? Um, what do we need? We don't really need very much. We could get another machinist. Torpedo man, don't we need that? Medic repair. Let's get another machinist. Why not? There you go. Good. So that's it for the awards. And um, yeah, now we're in Penang. The office is exactly the same. Down to the posters. Um, but yes. 1943 is about to become 1944, which will be a difficult year for us, I suspect. But yeah, join me next time for another thrilling adventure in the seas of the Far East. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.